Hey guys, welcome to another AWS video. Well, in this video, I'm going to answer one of the questions that you guys have asked. I got a question regarding how to do URL redirection. And actually, a couple of guys have asked this. And here, this is one of the questions. And also, in another video, also, I got the same uh, question. Today's video, I thought of uh, doing this URL redirection because it is actually quite easy. So let me show you what I mean by URL redirection. So at the moment, let's say that I have a website called awsvideos.com that is served through HTTPS. If I type something, a subdomain or so, let's say app.awsvideos.com or www.awsvideos.com or any other subdomains, we have to redirect those subdomains to this main domain or the main Apex domain. So that can be easily achieved with S3 and I will show you the exact steps how to do that. Right. I will take the same example here. So I have this S3 bucket uh, called awsvideos.com where this website is hosted. Let me show you guys. So I am on S3 console and in S3 console if I search for AWS videos you will see this is the bucket that the web is, website is hosted. So this is the website. I have it up here. And this website is served through a CloudFront distribution. I think in the first video, this uh, hosting website on AWS videos, we went in details how to do that. You know, you have a S3 bucket where the web application is hosted and it is served through a CloudFront distribution and users can make requests via Route 53 in HTTPS so you can have associate a custom domain as well so if you don't know how to do that please uh, refer this video so given that you have a website like this that is served through HTTPS let's do URL redirection all right so the first step is to create a redirect bucket so we have an S3 bucket called awsvideos.com now this is corresponding to our main domain so we'll create another S3 bucket basically the redirect bucket. We will name it as www.awsvideos.com and make sure to have the region as your the main bucket is and uh, click next, click next, click next and accept all the defaults and create the bucket. So if we now check www awsvideos.com you will see it now select the bucket and here you don't have to add any content but what we are going to do instead is go to properties and select static web hosting earlier we used this option use this bucket to host a website but this time we are going to make it as a redirect request bucket so select this one redirect request and it is asking the target bucket to which bucket this request be redirected to. So if someone visiting www.awsvideos.com, they should be redirected to the main domain. So the bucket that the main website is hosted is awsvideos.com. And afterwards asking for the protocol well we have hosted it on https so please make sure to have https if not http if you don't already have a certificate incorporated with this okay then click save right so that's all we have to do in terms of s3 but there are a couple other configuration to be done the next configuration is at the cloudfront distribution now let's go to cloudfront i will search it cloudfront and in CloudFront, we have a CloudFront distribution that is associated with our main domain. I can see the C name is awsvideos.com and this is the associated CloudFront distribution. Right? But now we have to create a new distribution for our redirect bucket as well. So let's click create distribution and it's in web. Get started. As for the origin name, you need to copy paste the endpoint of the redirect bucket. So let's select services and I will open S3 in a new tab. 
and in this three console let me search for AWS videos and as you guys can see this is our main domain and this is our redirect bucket let me click the redirect bucket and there in the properties go to static web hosting tile and there you will see the endpoint so let's copy this part of the URL just omit the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash just copy this part and go back to your CloudFront distribution as for the origin name just paste it in nice origin ID just keep it as it is we don't have to change anything and a Viva protocol just select redirect HTTP to HTTPS so it will always be redirected to the HTTPS site and now we need to set up a SSL certificate for our redirection bucket so that's what we are going to do so let me select services and I will search for ACM or certificate manager and right click it and open it in a new tab so that my CloudFront distribution page will still stay intact so we'll go to certificate manager and now guys I have already requested the wildcard domain for awsvideos.com so if you only have requested the uh, certificate for awsvideos.com what you can easily do is you can request a certificate so request a public certificate and click request as for the domain name you can simply say www.awsvideos.com and click next and you can request it so all these steps we have covered in the first video now in my case I already have requested a wildcard domain so another option is is that you can simply request for a wildcard domain videos.com so that for any future subdomains this will be valid so in my case I have already requested the wildcard domain this one so I can simply use it because it www is a part of the subdomain that covers by this wildcard certificate okay so we'll use that so make sure to request a new one if you haven't done and once the status is issued you can go to CloudFront and there for the alternate domain name we will use www.awsvideos.com okay and as for the SSL certificate click custom SSL certificate and here it should prompt you the wildcard certificate or the www.awsvideos.com certificate whichever you create so I just select the wildcard certificate and that's basically it yes so let's create the distribution so that's all we have to do in terms of CloudFront now we need to wait for 15 or 20 minutes until this is completed or until this is deployed otherwise it's not going to work so while it is creating the CloudFront distribution we can do one other thing which is really important so that is regarding our Route 53 service so let's go to Route 53 and I will open it a new tab so I will click the hosted zones and I will go into the hosted zone awsvideos.com so at this moment I have an error code awsvideos.com that has a target value of our CloudFront distribution of the main website which is the original website right but now we need to create another record of course www.awsvideos.com well I have already created it just for testing let me just delete it quickly now we need to set up DNS redirection so in order to do that let's create a new record set so in my record set it has to be www.awsvideos.com should be exactly what I have named my S3 bucket www.awsvideos.com and then it is the type of A and it is an alias record and for the alias target you can simply go to your CloudFront distribution no matter it's in in progress state just click this and there you should see the domain name this one so this is the CloudFront domain name just copy it 
and in the route 53 as for the target enter it just remove that additional space and create it well that's basically it so you have configured the redirection at route 53 level and also we have created a CloudFront distribution for the redirection and also we have an S3 bucket that will redirect request to the main bucket so let's wait for 15 minutes and after 15 minutes you should be able to test it okay guys my CloudFront distribution is still in progress but let's try to test it so I am at httpsawcvideos.com which is my main domain and let me just add a different subdomain like app.awcvideos.com well it's not working but what about if I add www.awcvideos.com and hit enter well it does redirect so that's very nice so I think in my case it has already started working even though the CloudFront distribution is in progress maybe in your case you might have to wait until it is deployed okay now that the redirection is working well let me show you again www.awcdios.com hit enter it works and let's try it without HTTPS and we'll check if our HTTP to HTTPS redirection is working hit enter well that also works so let's review the steps now this is my main website so if you want to set up any redirection from your subdomain to the main website let's say you need to create a redirection from app.awsvideos.com to awsvideos.com the first step you need to do is go to S3 and create a bucket with the subdomain so we have created the bucket www.awsvideos.com as our redirect bucket so if you are planning to have app.awsvideos.com to be redirected to this one so the bucket name should be app.awsvideos.com okay so you create the bucket and then in the properties in the static web hosting make sure to have selected the redirect request and here you have to mention the name of your original or the main domain bucket and make sure to select the protocol as well so that's all you have to do in terms of S3. In the CloudFront distribution, you might already have a CloudFront distribution for your main domain. And apart from that, you have to create another CloudFront distribution for your redirection origin as well. So make sure to create that. And, and afterwards, you need to do the DNS with Route53 and add a record with www.awsvideos.com or app.awsvideos.com and make sure to point that DNS record, the A record, to your newly created redirection distribution. That's all and you have to wait for 15 minutes, then it should work. Alright, so that's all I want to share with you. Thanks for watching.